Are you on video? Oh, video. You're on video now for America. We're all for America now. Yeah. Yeah. Nellie and Patty Kerrigan. Dunmore East. Dunmore East. All right. You're on video now, too. Ina Parr from Marion. Marion Terrace. What number? Number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. There we go. Over and out. <laughs> Joe Murphy used to have two buses parked up here one time. A Bedford 20-seater bus, and then he later bought a big Leland bus. And Sauce Power was the conductor. Uh, took that bus in many of the time to, to Waterford City. One time he came out to start the, the bus with the crank handle in the front. He turned it around and it backfired and it broke his arm in a couple of places. So Nick Murphy had to drive the bus. Joe was out of commission for quite some time. Broken arm. used to be the famous tree where everybody used to gather at night time, evening time, and talk about the weather and what was going on, who died and who came into town. And we'd walk from there to the lookout wall, then we'd take a walk over to Harney's Corner, and then we'd take a, a walk down to Lawler's Corner, and that's how we spent our time in the evenings unless there was a dance on in the Fisherman's Hall, and uh, take a walk up in the woods, or maybe sometimes rob Kathleen Harney's orchard, and bury the apples in straw or leaves up in the woods, and then we'd have them for the weekend. Because you wouldn't raid the orchard on the weekends because you'd have your Sunday clothes on, on a Sunday, and you wouldn't want to get the barbed wire stuck in your clothes, tearing your clothes apart. And the post office, May Neeland used to run the post office. And my sister got her start there at 16 years of age. My sister worked all over Ireland in the post offices in different counties. She worked for 38 years. Bonnie Murphy, he was deaf, he had two hunting dogs and a shotgun. He used to live in a thatched cottage right next to the Bay Cafe right there. And uh, I believe that he went deaf from shooting his gun off in a cave. I'm not sure if that's quite true or not. But he could always judge the weather very well, tell you whether it was going to be stormy or fine or whatever.
Fisherman's Hall. I used to, I, when I wasn't allowed dance, I used to sit up on the window ledge and watch everybody inside having a good time dancing. Well, I was only, what, 17 years of age or something. And uh, my father sometimes used to catch me at 11 o'clock at night and hit me with his walking stick or whatever. But I had some enjoyable times there. I don't know how I ever sat on the window ledge. It was very narrow, but I used to. And they used to have games and parties in here. The Protestants, they'd put on, oh, dances and whatever, and they'd give out prizes. And I remember the Bull Welsh one time, and the window was slightly open, put in his hand and took out cigarettes that were for prizes. And he was smoking them, and somebody came out and asked him if he had seen anyone. He says, no. And he was smoking one of the cigarettes. We had some great times here. Nellie Bow and Biddy McCarthy and, oh, my God, so many people. So many people. Good times.